Hello guys and welcome back to Makeup FOMO. Today I have such a fun video for you. These are obviously one of my favorite videos to film and probably one of my favorite to watch and I have a haul for you. This is just like a kind of a big random haul. I literally have stuff from my birthday. I have stuff that I've just purchased. There's like clothes, makeup, stuff from Target. There, it's just like such a random assortment but it's definitely collective over the last like probably month or so and I just really wanted to show all of it to you guys. I'm so excited about so many of these things and wanted to share them with you. And I also just want to go over like one thing really quick. You guys have probably noticed if you know you keep up with my videos. Um, we do post two times a week. I don't know if you're aware. I post a video every Wednesday and Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we put up two videos a week now. I used to only be able to do one video a week but we have been doing two videos a week now which is super exciting. So we post twice a week and you probably noticed if you keep up with them at all that their background changes kind of a lot so basically if you've watched any of the moving vlogs that have gone up like semi recently we moved from New Jersey to North Carolina we were staying with my husband's parents uh, just kind of in the interim basically we bought a house um, but like it's being built for us we like bought a new construction essentially so it's being built for us so that takes obviously a little bit of time. So we basically stayed with my in-laws for just a little bit till we found like a really short-term apartment we could just stay in here in Charlotte, North Carolina. In the meantime, we're not building in Charlotte, but we are going to be living, the houses like surrounding Charlotte. So we wanted to be somewhere where we were close enough to be involved in all the house stuff. So we basically stayed with my in-laws for a little bit and then we found this apartment, which is where we are now. We're only gonna be living here for like two, three months and then we're gonna be moving into our house that we bought. So it's all very, very exciting, but it's just like a lot of changes and a lot of moving. So like everything's still in boxes. That's why like nothing's really decorated. Very, very short term stuff. Obviously, once we get to the house, that is going to be our hopefully pretty much forever home. So that will be decorated and definitely permanent. So I pre-filmed a ton before we left New Jersey and then I filmed a little bit of my in-laws and now I'm going to be filming here. So that's why the videos are a little bit all over the place because I'm doing some filming here and then I kind of switched some videos out in terms of when I'm posting them just so that I would, you know, be able to have two videos a week. So that's why you're seeing some videos like there and then back in New Jersey and then here. So that's why it's a little bit all over the place. That was probably a really long ramble but essentially I just wanted to explain why the video backgrounds keep changing and kind of why it seems like they're not in perfect order because they're not. So anyway, that's pretty much what I wanted to say and without further ado, let's get into this haul. There's the cat. I don't know if you guys have ever seen one of my cats. We have two cats. This is one of them. This is Willie. He only has one eye. I don't know if you can tell. He only has one eye right there. <laughs> but he's so cute. He was our first cat that we got. And we also have another cat named Nala. Um, but she's, I'm sure she's out there sleeping. Hi. So I figure we'll start with makeup. So this item I actually I um, didn't order as part of this order. I ordered this a little while ago, but I never ended up hauling it, so I figured I would just mention it really quickly. I picked up the Tarte Man Eater. This is the Volume 2. So this is the palette where they took out that one really big shade that they had, right? I think it was here originally, and replaced it with a black shade. So I always really, really wanted the original Man Eater palette, but... I decided to pick it up when I saw that they reformulated or like I not reformulated like redesigned it um, because I love that there's a black in it and I love that there's like a matte cream shade it pretty much checked all the boxes once they changed it up and I love the color scheme and like the reds and stuff like that I'm actually wearing it today and I filmed this look so if that's already up I'll put it in the card uh, or link down below like I said, everything's going up in a weird order, so I'm not sure if it'll be up before this or not. I probably will, um, but if not, I will link it when it does go up. But I love this palette, and Tarte's palettes smell like vanilla. I'm not sure if it's vanilla or chocolate, or just it smells really sweet, and I love the smell. And I love how this is just so small and compact, and I feel like it's like the perfect little travel palette. So I picked that up, and I'm so excited. So now diving into the actual order, I purchased three of these Makeup Revolution like face palettes, I guess you would call them. So these were, they weren't even marked as being on sale, but they were just like reduced in price, like $3.50 I think. And then I had a 20% off coupon, so I ended up getting each of these for like two and a half dollars or something crazy and I had never tried one of their face palettes so I figured for like two bucks I definitely want to try some out so this is what this looks like it has a couple baked shades a couple of shimmers and then a bunch of mattes I am just not sure if I'm going to be able to use this anytime soon just because these shades seem really light 
And this shade is so weird. This is like a shimmery gold. So that is probably more of a highlight. Probably not on me, but on maybe deeper skin tones. This just looks a little bit light. So I'm going to have to try this out and see if I can use it like now because I'm pretty tan or if I need to wait till I'm a little bit more fair. But this is the bronzer palette. I definitely like shimmery bronzers, so I am excited to try these out, but uh, I, the thing I don't like about these palettes is that they have a very, like, makeup-y, like, cheap, like, kid makeup almost smell, so I'm not crazy about that, but... And then these next two palettes are both blush palettes. The one that I was most excited for, which I've heard a ton of people rave about, is the one in the shade Hot Spice. So all the packaging is pretty much the same, just with the reflective kind of black shiny packaging this is the hot spice palette so this is so gorgeous it has like some peachy tones and then some like baby pinks and then also some baked ones right here these are both baked and these shades are like so up my alley i love like peaches and pinks honestly i'm not very picky with my blushes in general i'll pretty much wear any blush that goes with my look but these are really pretty i do think that there could be like a little bit more variety here i feel like these two shades are like very very similar looking so i feel like they could have switched up the tones a little bit but i've heard some really good things about this palette so this third one is in the shade sugar and spice this one i really like too because i'm a huge fan of like hot pink blushes i'm actually wearing elf's like super super hot pink blush it's like fuchsia something i just really love those kind of shades so like these are totally up my alley and i'm actually really interested in this one again these two are baked and this one looks like it's going to be very very bold i haven't swatched any of these yet i want to save some of them for like a first impression video stay tuned for that but i'm super excited about this one too and these also have like a really big mirror in them as well and they're pretty good quality so this would also be something that'd be really great to travel with especially if you're going to be gone for a while and you just want to bring one palette that gives you a ton of options so you're not stuck wearing like the same blush every day and then you have this massive mirror that you could honestly use like to do your entire face it's so big so i'm just really excited about all three of these i had like i said i haven't tried any of these face kind of products from them so i'm really excited and i think i'll just apologize in advance now because this video is going to be so long mostly just because i talk a lot but also because i seriously just have a ton of stuff to show you so please stick around if you can you know get yourself some coffee or something because we're going to be here for a little while but it's going to be fun so just keep watching so the next thing i picked up is the be my space light uh pure nude highlighter from essence so you guys have probably tried the original one of these which is just kind of like a champagne uh gold like not gold it's like a like a light champagne shade and everybody loves it and i love it so much and these are super cheap these are like four dollars but this is kind of like their take on like a holographic type highlighter i think i did swatch this and it comes off like almost like pink let me show you can you see that there you go so this is one of those shades that like kind of like in the subculture palette and you know all those kind of palettes where it looks white in the pan but it actually comes off pink so i'm not sure how this is gonna look on the skin i don't really mind like a colored highlighter but i'm just not sure exactly how this is going to look but i do really like the formula of the other one so i wanted to just give this one a go they also have one that like comes off green which i didn't even want to go there but this one might work and then I also picked up a hair product, which I almost never buy, like, skincare or hair care because I just don't put that much effort into either of those things. But I wanted to grab this John Frieda Frizzy's Straight Fixation Styling Cream because now that my hair is super short, I you guys have seen it in a bunch of videos, um, it's just so short that it, like, hits right here on my shoulder and kind of, like, flips at the ends. Also because it's not as long and heavy as it used to be. It's just not a holding the straightness when I straighten it and I just don't like how it looks when the ends flip it looks kind of weird so I did some research and this product's got a really good reviews that it just really helps your hair like stay straight and kind of like sleek and I really just need something aside from like hairspray or something that's just gonna help my hair stay straight okay so I did some research this one sounds like it's gonna kind of be exactly what I need but I have not tried it yet so I'm gonna give it a try hopefully it works i really need it to work and then probably the most exciting part of this specific order was the domini cosmetics latte palette i have been eyeing this literally since it came out probably like a year ago and i never picked it up just look at this packaging can we just it's so pretty i have been eyeing this for since it came out and i just never really pulled the trigger but i decided especially because i had a 20 percent off coupon that i would go for it this retails for like 42 dollars so it's basically the same price as like the anastasia palettes 
but this is just so pretty it's got like your warm shades kind of your neutral everyday shades up top but like these two shades literally spoke to me I feel like in a lot of palettes these shades would be shimmery but these are matte shades I think they'll be so pretty especially combined with some of these warmer shades that you guys know I've been loving mixing like warm and cool tones so I think that the just the whole color story is so up my alley these are actually the only shimmer shades here but I'm totally okay with that and plus this is packaging and like this mirror I just love everything about this so I haven't used this yet but I definitely want to do a video with it so if you guys would like to see that definitely let me know or if you have this palette because I'm so excited <laughs> and then lastly this is kind of random but there was like you know how Ulta has those like beauty breaks where you know if you order a certain amount of products you get a free you know skincare whatever kind of you know promo they have going on so the day I ordered this they happened to have one and it was like a Becca little promo so I got a little sample size of the ultimate coverage 24 hour foundation which is pretty cool you actually have to pick out your shade and everything so I've definitely never tried this but I'm certainly excited to these are honestly even like slightly bigger than like a sample size I guess you would consider these like I don't know a, a travel size I'm not sure they're just they're actually like a decent size and this is the ever matte poreless priming perfecter so as you can see like these are a decent size you know they come in a box and everything so I thought that was awesome the other boxed item is the backlight priming filter, which I have not tried this before, but obviously like everybody and their mom is obsessed with this. So I'm definitely excited to give this a go. This is also a pretty good size. I really want to try this. And then the last item is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Rose Gold. These are, first of all, so cute. Just like look at this packaging. They even come with like a little mirror on them. And this is the rose gold shade. And there's a definitely a good amount of product in here. I don't use up highlighters ever. So I certainly won't go through this little baby one anytime soon either. So I thought that was a really cool little like perk to get with my order. So I was excited about that. So that's basically all for like the makeup. I might have, actually, I think I have like one or two other things. But I did want to mention one thing that I can't really show you, but I did get for my birthday from my husband, and that is the ring light that is behind the camera that is lighting this whole video he got me that for my birthday along with um, actually some other things that I'll end up showing you but I'm super super excited about it it just I feel like the lighting is already better I'm definitely still playing with it this is actually my first time using it so hopefully the lighting's okay I know there's still a little bit of shadows so I need to kind of mess with it and also filming in this little apartment is also a learning experience because we just moved in here so I'm definitely still playing with it, but it's amazing. It came in like one of those carrying cases that has like a handle and everything. So it's going to be super easy to pack away and transport for when we move again very soon. So I'm so, so, so excited and so thankful to my husband for getting that for me. So next I have just a couple things from Victoria's Secret slash Pink from their semi-annual sale. Um, actually, there's just so much stuff in here. So I ended up having a couple coupons for like $10 off and then obviously the sale was going on so things were already like 70% off plus I had coupons so I went crazy and basically spent like no money which was awesome. So the first thing I grabbed was this Very Sexy Now perfume. I spent a bunch of time smelling their perfumes in the store and this is smelled so good. It says beach down here and first of all this packaging is so cute I haven't even taken it out yet but it's like little palm leaves and does it say the scents on it oh and so the scents are warm sand hot sun salty air oh no that's not the scents that's just the description the scents are orange blossom creamy coconut and golden sands which I don't know what golden sand smells like but basically it's the coconut that I could smell immediately when I sprayed this and I loved it I'm not crazy about like orange or like citrusy scents but the coconut scent is so strong in a good way and so as soon as I smelled this I was like sold so I grabbed this and like I said with my coupon and this was like 70% off I think I literally paid like three or four dollars for this so and this is like a full-size perfume so I was super happy with this and then like I said I had a few coupons so I actually also got another perfume like I said I spent a ton of time just smelling all their perfumes to see which ones I wanted to grab this is the Victoria's Secret supermodel perfume um 
It says, this is an unforgettable mix of bright berry, seductive peach blossom, and creamy sandalwood. The reason I grabbed this is because sandalwood and any of those kind of like musky, woodsy scents are some of my favorite. They're like a little bit masculine, but I, I just really like how those smell. So this one really drew me in for that reason. I hope you can see the packaging. It's not too reflective. Um, but pretty much same thing. This was like 70% off, and then I had a coupon, so I think I spent like 3 or $4 on this one too. And these are both like regular size perfumes. So I spent like $6 total on both of these so I'm super happy with that and then I'm not sure if you guys care about this but I also had one of those coupons for just like a totally free pair of panties so I just got this really cute little pink pair um so it's not well let me show it a little better so I just got this cute little pink pair this is one of those like no lines kind of ones and the back is so cute it's just kind of like almost like also palm leaves kind of clear mesh back and oh, I just thought this little palm tree design was super cute. So that was free. So I literally went and walked out with all this stuff for like under $10. I think it was like six or seven bucks. So this was such a score of a haul from Victoria's Secret. So I also went to Charlotte Russe. This is a huge bag and it's not actually filled with Charlotte Russe stuff. There's only two things that I got from Charlotte Russe, but I'll show you those now. So my battery just died, but we're back and we're talking about Charlotte Russe. And can I just say, people are not messing around when they say that these lights are so hot. Like, this is making me sweat and it's not really that close to me, but oh my gosh. So if I start looking a little bit more dewy, that's why. So like I said, I got that huge ass bag from Charlotte Russe, but I only got two things. And it's these two pairs of like these like slide on sandals that are kind of, I guess they're kind of trendy right now. They're just the ones that have, you know, the two um, little straps. And I wanted to get a white pair and a black pair. I actually really wanted to get a nude pair, which they have, but I think they're either online only or they were like sold out in my size. Something like that. I do have a pretty big foot. I wear a size like nine and a half or 10. So it's sometimes it's a little hard to find the sizes and for them to be in stock and stuff. But they, these are normally $12.99, but I think they had like a one or two day sale where they were like six bucks each, and I happened to be at the mall going to Victoria's Secret that day. So I snagged these two pairs for like six bucks each, and they're like obviously, you know, just cheap Charlotte Russe shoes, so they're not meant to last you for years, but they're kind of trendy right now, and they're pretty comfy, so I thought that they would go with like a ton of stuff. So next I'll just show you what's actually in the Charlotte Russe bag, but I just have them in here like for storage purposes. It's not Charlotte Russe stuff. So the first bag that's actually in the bag is from Target, everyone's favorite place. I went there to look for some shorts just because, as you guys know, I used to work at Hollister. Um, I actually do have some Hollister stuff in this order. And a lot of the shorts that they sell are very, very short, which was fine when I was working there and I was a little bit younger, but now I'm 26 years old and I'm married and I just feel like my butt hanging on my shorts is not necessarily the look I'm going for anymore. So I wanted to pick up some shorts that are just a little bit longer and maybe even some high-waisted shorts because I've never really dabbled in like the high-waisted life. So I actually did find a style that I really like. These are from Universal Thread and they are the mid-rise midi shorts so this is what they look like so they go like not all the way up to your waist but they go past your hips so kind of like maybe right where your belly button would be a little bit lower which is perfect because it's not super high-waisted but it's still not like cutting you off and like giving you a muffin top or something so i picked these up and they're like as you can tell they're not super long where they're like obviously like bermuda shorts or something like that but they're not super short either um so as you can see from the pocket they go down a little ways and they're the perfect length where they're not like grandma pants but they're not with your butt hanging out either so I picked up like a lighter wash. I love the like wash of these and they're so freaking comfortable guys. They literally feel like pajama pants. I was in love because they're so stretchy. So and I think they were like buy one get one half off or something. So I picked up a second pair and a little bit of a darker wash. Same thing kind of has like the ruching and I do like how they both have the cuffs on the bottom as well. I like that look too. I think it just looks a little bit nicer. So I love these. These are the same thing. I think the mid rise. I think these retail for $16.99 each. And then they were buy one get one half off so they're a great price this purchase is a little bit random but I want to show you anyway so they had these adorable bowls they're like this pink and red with like this pattern and then the lip of it I don't know if you can tell it's like rose gold and I just loved them and they were on clearance for whatever reason for a dollar 78 they're from threshold 
which threshold is like their nice brand so i was like what the heck these are awesome and my husband and i we like just he eats a lot of um like eggs and we eat cereal and like we're just using bowls so like our dishwasher is always full of bowls and we never have any clean bowls so i was like we need more bowls anyway these are so freaking cute and so cheap which i just think is so awesome so i got two of these so then also from target this is on a separate ship but still from target i got this big like file folder it's one of those expanding ones where you know you have this little elastic it opens up and then you have all these folder little slots in here and I was actually originally gonna get one of those I don't know if you guys have seen them they're like the really big box ones where they have a handle and they kind of like sit on their own because they're so big just because now my husband and I are married and we're buying a house and we just got like joint car insurance and just because we have like a lot of important paperwork together now and you know, with the house and stuff I just feel like we needed somewhere to organize our stuff um, you know just like receipts and bills and whatever kind of informative paperwork you get we didn't really have anywhere to put it we were just like putting it in his desk and we were keeping it semi-organized but not as organized as it could have been and I'm always afraid things are going to go missing so I picked this one up just because it is so cute it has this like really pretty like watercolor design like pink and purple and super girly this is from uh the brand u brands which i don't know i've never heard of that before oh my gosh i don't you just love how the little string is like lavender purple i just think this is so cute this was like nine dollars i think so i think that's a good price because it's like very sturdy and good quality it's not one of those like cheap plasticky ones that ends up pulling apart so i love that and we already have stuff in there we've been using it so so far so good with that so I actually got this just a little while ago, and it's like this tin. This is from the dollar spot, so I think it was like 3 or $5. It was a really good price. And this is like basically just like a little... Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. So it's basically like a recipe card tin. And it actually came with a bunch of these little cards. They're so cute. And you can write the recipes on them. There's a few of those. And then it also came with these little tabs um, where you can just sort them, you know, by like salads, entrees, drinks, desserts, all that kind of stuff. So it's so adorable. Side dishes. Yeah, there's just like a ton of categories. And I cook a lot and I love cooking and I especially love finding recipes online and like on Pinterest and stuff like that. So the ones that I make that we end up really liking and especially that my husband really likes, I wanted to just start writing them down and just keeping them in something that's really handy rather than having to like look through my phone or like go back in my meal planner and try to remember which ones we liked. So I figured I could just keep them all in here and then just like whip them out or if I like just don't have any ideas of what to make for dinner, I can just look in here at some of our favorites and just like start pulling them out and that's what I'll make for dinner. So... I'm basically making a short story very long. I picked up just some more index cards. These aren't even lined. These are just blank just because I feel like the lines get in my way. But this only came with I think like 10 or 15 recipe cards and obviously I was going to want more than that. So I purchased these just so I could use to like supplement what's in here. And the last thing I got from Target is actually not in the bag, but this is like the little case on my phone. And I got this phone case. How freaking cute is this? This is from also the dollar spot, so this is like five bucks, I think. But it's like a plus, so it's really big, and it just like clips around the sides. I just didn't want a phone case that was really bulky, because so many of my phone cases are just really like thick, and they make my phone really bulky and heavy. So I wanted one that was literally basically a, just a second skin to my phone, and that's what this is. It does wrap around just the top two corners so it doesn't provide a ton of protection but it's super super cute especially since i have like the rose gold case and it doesn't make it really bulky so i like it for that so this is probably not super exciting to many of you but now that we left new jersey i was working in like a corporate office job kind of thing and i liked it but now that we're down here we're going to be starting a family here pretty soon uh, not soon soon but like we want to have kids and stuff now that we're married and i'm not going to be working i'm just going to do stay at home so so basically now that we live here and i'm only going to be working you know for maybe another year or so i just wanted to get a job that wasn't super you know serious or anything that you know would involve a ton of training that i would end up leaving the company within a year and kind of like causing a little bit of problems being there for such a short period of time so i'm doing what i've wanted to do for so long and i'm going back to waitressing which i have loved serving i used to be waitress all through like high school and college I love it so much it's super great money and it's just a good time so now that I'm going back to waitressing I had to get a new pair of non-slip shoes so I actually got these from DSW the brand is La Forest La Forest and they're slip resistant shoes which you do have to have but a lot of them are just so ugly either they look like Crocs 
or they just look like grandma's shoes and they're super ugly. So these I thought were so adorable. They're basically like, they may be hard to see because they're all black, but they're kind of almost like converse looking. They have this little emblem here, which I'll probably end up taking off, but they're actually decently cute for like a work shoe and a non-slip shoe and that's what i really wanted because we have to wear jeans and stuff like that so i didn't want something that was going to look so stupid with jeans and these are actually pretty cute and they are non-slip so i was super excited with that purchase i was glad i was able to find like women's non-slip non shoes that weren't like super weird looking so i'm actually pretty excited with this purchase even though i know it's kind of weird i'm pretty stoked about it this next item is actually another birthday gift and this is for my sister and this kind of just like showed up unexpectedly but i thought it was so cute and this is called the start where you are a journal for self-exploration by mira patel i think and it's so cute it's basically just a journal um that has like some quotes and some prompts and it kind of just prompts you to like do some writing some lists kind of like whatever and they're just so cute like the pages are just like adorable like they have all these little quotes and like just different things to kind of get you thinking get you kind of you know to express your thoughts and different things like that and i just love the idea of that and especially just in such an adorable freaking way so i don't know i'm really really excited about this i just think this is such a cute idea and i'm just so excited to like see all the stuff that's in here so like I said, this is a very random haul of a bunch of random stuff. This is very, very random. This is actually a gift from my mother-in-law. This is the North Carolina Extension Gardener Handbook. Guys, this is literally like the size of a textbook. It's like hardcover. I think it maybe could even be used as a textbook. I'm not sure. But it, this was so nice. We had, my husband and I had mentioned, because we're buying the house, of course, we're going to want to start gardening and landscaping. And once it's done, just make it look really nice. And I was saying how, like, my mom especially, she knows everything about flowers. I swear she's, like, an encyclopedia. And so I was like, I need to learn about flowers, and especially in North Carolina, like, what flowers grow best, at what time of year, what should we be looking to do and grow and put next to each other and stuff. So she got me this big-ass book, which I am so excited about. This literally just has everything you could possibly need to know about, like, insects and then you know, your lawn, how to take care of, like, specific types of grass and warm season grasses versus cool season and it literally just has everything you could possibly need to know even like fruits and vegetables flowers i'm so excited to start reading through, through this my husband started looking at it and it's just so informative so literally anything i could need to know about gardening here in north carolina i have it right at my fingertips so i'm so excited about this and i can't wait to read it so now i want to show you guys a little bit of clothes that i actually got from hollister like i was saying i still really like Hollister's clothes this is actually Hollister just because I like how they fit I know how they fit I know what size I am and I they always have usually really good sales too so I think that they're a good price and I definitely think that they're good quality and worth it so I basically just picked up a ton of jeans their jeans were on these were actually I think on like sale and then they had like a coupon code for like 20% off your whole order and then like free shipping so these actually it was crazy all these jeans ended up coming out to like 11 or 12 dollars each for like jeans hollister jeans so i was all about it so i picked up a whole bunch of pairs this first pair is the high rise super skinny these are just black oh this is going to be hard to show so these are the high rise super skinny um so as you can see they do go quite high like here's the crotch so they go pretty high up and these are just a black pair um but they do have a little bit of ripping right there um right here and then i just ended up rolling the bottoms when i had tried these on at first same thing on the other side just a little bit of uh, like distressed on them and these are also so comfy um even though these are the super skinnies they have like a good amount of stretch to them where they're not super like constricting and like sucking you in and like I was saying earlier, I really want to start wearing a little bit more high-waisted clothes just because I think I love that look and I think it kind of like just sucks you in, it makes things just like look nicer on you. And I don't really have much of that. Oh, this also has like a little rip detail on the pocket. I'm not sure if you can tell. So this next pair is the Shape Love um, style, which is, it just holds its shapes and gives your body a lot of love. And it's also very stretchy. These are also high-rise super skinnies as well. Um, and these ones are definitely a bit of a lighter wash also destroyed I think these are all have some holes in them so it's got like the kind of distressed up here and it's got kind of like that wash 
that I just think is so like flattering and has a bunch of distress all down the legs and these actually came already cuffed. These actually don't have the Hollister stitching in the back. They do say Hollister right there. But as you'll notice like on the black pair, this is like Hollister's kind of signature stitching or whatever. Um, and this one doesn't have it. So if you don't like that, then this might be um, the kind of style you might go for. But these are also just so comfy. And then next, this pair is actually even lighter than that pair. This is the Advanced Stretch um, Low Rise Jean Legging Crop. So these are not high rise and they're the jean legging. So they're that really, really stretchy thin material. And these are actually cropped, although on me, I think I got them in a long, so they're not very cropped. But this is what they look like. So like super, super light wash. Also just not as much distressing, honestly. Like each leg just has this right there. Same thing on the other side, just a little bit here. And then they're kind of like that cropped, um, a little bit of like almost like unfinished hem at the bottom. And these, since they're the jean leggings, are just so comfy because they're just that very stretchy material. Same thing with these. They don't have the stitching on the pocket, just the little bird over here. And if you like cropped jeans, these actually can be quite cropped, but they're also just hella comfy. So this last pair I'm actually super excited about because I have always wanted like gray jeans, but I've just never had them before. So these are the low rise super skinny. So basically just like they're kind of OG original style. And this is what they look like. So a little bit of that wash detailing. And again, like I was saying, these are pretty much all destroyed. So this just has like a tiny little patches of distressing. Same thing on the other side. And actually it's kind of cute because the distress detailing goes literally all the way down to the very bottom which i think is cute and these are kind of like their classic jeans so they do have the stitching on the back but i'm just so excited to have gray jeans i'm not exactly sure how i'm going to style them but i've just really wanted them so we are on the home stretch we have one bag left but there's a couple of bags in the bag but we're almost done the next items are also actually makeup items i didn't end up getting boxycharm in june or July, we just put it on hold just because we didn't know where we were going to be living and when when we came down here to North Carolina and I didn't want it to end up getting shipped somewhere and not get it. So we just put it on hold, which I ended up being really bummed about because I realized the Alomar Rana Del Caribe palette was going to be in it. And I had been eyeing this since I heard Kathleen Lights talk about it and that was before I even knew it was going to be in the box. And when I realized that was the box I was missing out on, I was so sad. So I ended up just purchasing it and this is what it looks like, which I'm sure you guys have seen it a whole bunch of times. I actually already have a like a tutorial look using this palette up on my channel by the time you guys see this. So I will put it in the card. Definitely check it out. But this is just such a pretty palette. It's that whole orange and like blue vibe that's kind of trending right now. It is so freaking pretty and I loved it. These shadows are just amazing quality, truly. And I just also just like love the packaging of it. It's so cute. And then the other item that I was actually really bummed also about missing out on from the box was the Ofra Lip Good Lipstick in the shade Veronica. I saw people using this in their like boxes and I was like, oh, that's such a pretty shade and I really like the Ofra formula. So I ended up picking up this as well. I actually wore this as my lip product in the video where I filmed this look. So whenever you go watch that video, you'll see me with this lip on. And it's so pretty. It's definitely probably a little bit more of like a fallish or like wintry type shade just because it's a little bit deeper. But I love like brown, especially warmish brown lip colors. So I was so excited to pick these up. These last couple items are all pretty much like beauty sort of related. Um, this item is actually from, this bag's all janky, but this is from Ulta. And I saw this online and so I really wanted to pick it up. This is the Amazing Maui Babe Browning Lotion. I'm not sure if you guys have tried this before. This is apparently like this Hawaiian brand and it's just this browning lotion. It's not sunscreen or anything, but you literally just put this on and it basically just like helps enhance the sun rays when you're like laying outside and it basically helps you get tanner. So it basically just says the ingredients in here promote a deep, dark, long-lasting tan in just a short amount of time in the sun. Um, so apparently you just put this on, lay out in the sun for like an hour, and it just helps you like accelerate your tan. Um, there's aloe in it, so it kind of helps you not burn, but there's no like SPF in it at all. And it is pretty moisturizing. It actually smells really, really good. I don't know what the smell is. It says it has coffee in it. So that might be kind of what it smells like. I do really like this smell and I like how it feels. And I do think that it works. I mean, I think I have a pretty decent tan right now and I've been using this for a couple weeks now. So I really like it and this is a huge bottle. I think this was like 
$14 but I think that you get a ton of product and you really don't need much of it so it'll definitely last a while so hopefully this is the result of uh, using this product these next two items are both from Sephora and they're actually both of the free little like birthday sets I didn't know I did this and I'm not sure how this happened I think one of my like Sephora accounts might have been from when I was like really young and then I think when I was a little older and I got more into makeup I ended up making like a new rewards like insider account I'm not sure what happened but I ended up getting to like my two main emails that I use two of the birthday like coupons so i ended up redeeming both of them i got the bite beauty little reward which has a little uh mini lipstick like a lipstick like crayon and then a couple little samples of their like lip scrub and whatever their like lip balm kind of product is and then i also got the glam glow um one which has the super mud cream treatment and the glow starter like illuminating is that a primer illuminating moisturizer so these are actually both so cute and they have like a decent amount of product in them so i'm super excited to try these out my husband and i do like face masks together and stuff like that so i felt like this would be fun and i have not tried anything from glam glow actually i don't think i've tried anything from bite beauty either so these were really cool and also at sephora i'll just mention because i purchased this these are the invisibobble um those little like I don't know if you can see those little circular um, hair ties that you know you can use that don't crease they kind of look like those like swirly little plastic things and I actually have this already that I bought it for a while back ago um, but it's this is the slim version and that was not the slim version that was like the regular version so it's a lot fatter and those are like a maroon color they didn't have like black at the time but this is the slim one so they're like a lot lot skinnier and these are black so I felt like they would blend in with my hair a little bit better and I've been using one for like the past couple weeks weeks and I love it the only thing I noticed is it got a little bit more stretched out than the original um, like thicker one that I have is so that's kind of a bummer because now like I have to wrap it around a third time rather than just two times but I do really like how like locks your hair in because of the um, like twirliness of it and like sucks your hair into like the gaps I don't know how to explain it better than that but it really keeps your hair like very sturdy and I don't know if it's necessarily true that it doesn't like make any creases because like when I do a bun and stuff like that it doesn't come out looking the same way I did when I put it up but I do really like them and I think it's like eight dollars for a pack of three so not bad so actually I think I ended up not really on purpose but I think I saved the best thing for last I am so excited this is actually also from my husband for my birthday and he got me the Laura Lee Los Angeles nudie patootie palette I was not really expecting him to get me this like he knew that I kind of wanted it but I had never tried anything from Laura Lee before and I knew that I loved the colors but I hadn't seen like a ton of reviews or anything on it at the time but I was so excited that he got it for me because I have really been wanting to try her formula I didn't really want her original palette just because it was like kind of boring but this palette oh my gosh I'm sure you've seen it but the packaging is just so stunning and this is like a huge palette these are the shades like I said I'm sure you've seen it I haven't even actually used this yet since I just got it but I am so excited this is so gorgeous and it was just like so thoughtful of him to get me this because I really wanted it I just love just the whole color story of this with like the mauves and like the kind of you know really simple and neutral shades and especially some of those shimmers obviously you can't get a super dark look with this it doesn't go very deep but I am so freaking excited to use this this is probably one of my most exciting birthday gifts so I actually just wanted to show this because my parents sent me these for my birthday and it is so gorgeous. These are actually over a week old now and like don't they still look like perfect? And look at this vase that it came from. These are from I think like Pro Flowers. But look at this vase. Oh, I just think this is so gorgeous. And these flowers not only are so pretty but they've lasted for such a long time and they smell so freaking good so i wanted to show this because this is also one of my birthday gifts and i just love flowers i wish y'all could see the situation in this room now after filming that like i don't even know if i can get out of where i'm sitting right now because there's stuff everywhere but thank you guys so much for watching if you stuck around to the end you are awesome thank you so much i know this was a long one i can already tell but i had so much fun i love hauls i hope you guys do too but if you guys did stick around, I so appreciate it. And I just appreciate you stopping by in general. If you guys would like to subscribe, we would love to have you. We have so much fun here. And until next time, I'll catch you guys in our next video. Bye, guys.